How's it going? It's Marshall. Thanks for tuning in here. Yeah, just a quick video. Um, I had a comment placed on my one of my videos here where I was talking about the Rolling Cloud service. Uh, someone was having some major issues getting the uh, suite of plugins installed. So I figured I'd do a quick walkthrough on how to do this uh, in case anyone else is having any issues. Uh, just full disclosure, I, I'm not paid by Roland. Uh, Roland doesn't ever talk to me. <laughs> so unless I have to reach out to them for any technical issues. So I'm not a Roland employee. I'm not paid by Roland at all. Uh, but I figured that since some folks are having some issues with this, uh, would be worth doing a quick video on. So first of all, you need to go to RolandCloud.com. Be sure to sign up for an account. You can see here there is a big blue sign up button now. Uh, sign up now button. Uh, if you click on that, follow the process. I'm not going to do that since I've already got an account, um, but you can do that at your own leisure. Uh, from there, go to catalog. And um, just by the way, guys, you don't need a credit card to do this. Um, you just you do need an account on the Rolling Cloud site, but you don't need to enter any payment info for your 30 day trial. So you just go there, sign up for an account, then go to the catalog, click on the essentials uh, option here and scroll down. I, uh, they make you click on this a couple times. My guess is there's probably going to be more stuff added here at some point in the future. But uh, for right now, in the Essentials tab, all you have is the Download Manager, uh, the Rolling Cloud Manager, excuse me. Uh, go to Downloads, and then from here, select your operating system. For me, I'm using Windows, but uh, you know, obviously, if you're on a Mac, you'll want to select the correct uh, installer. So you can either save this or run this. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Run. It'll download, take a couple seconds. And we'll just uh, let this tick on down and follow the process here. So you'll probably get a couple security type things that pop up um, once you start running through the install wizard. So by hitting run, obviously it's going to start installing it. If you downloaded it just be sure to navigate to the folder in which you downloaded the file be executable for this and run it and we'll start walking through the uh, wizard so this right here is our installation folder the defaults fine uh, we want to make sure we've got the cloud manager uh, requires license thingy selected hit next then we want to accept and hit next and install uh, and this is the warning I was telling you about. So you just hit yes. And there it goes, running through the process here. So once this is done here, it's good. it should launch the app. Um, yeah, this part right here, be sure you allow this through your firewall. If the uh, manager cannot access the internet, that could possibly be your problem if you're having issues. Um, so then, this is kind of a pain in the ass, but you have to sign in again. And it'll actually have you sign in one more time after you've got your plugins installed. And the first time you drag and drop one into an instance and say Ableton, which is what we're gonna do here, um, it will make you sign in again. So uh, another little security warning to say yes. Um, so here we need to say I agree. And we, depending on what version of Ableton, for example, you're using or whatever your DAW is, whether it's a 32-bit um, program or 64-bit, uh, that may be an issue. But actually, it looks like these are all 64-bit. This is VST2 and VST3. So just make sure that you have those, whatever you need, selected. In this case, uh, the next step here is going to be to select your VST plugin folder. Uh, this plugin folder is actually fine, but I'm going to add a subfolder in here um, and call it Roland. In fact, I'm, uh, maybe that's not the right one. Actually, let's just check before we do this. I'm gonna launch Ableton. I don't think that's the right VST folder. So we're just gonna double check in our DAW real quick what the download folder or what the folder is that uh, um, I've got Ableton set to. So we'll go here, preferences. Uh, 
files and folder that's already selected. So you can see here, I'm going to program folders, Steinberg, and then VST plugins. So we'll dump, we'll dump everything in there. And actually real quick while we're in here, uh, since I pulled this out of my live rig to do this, it's looking for the uh, Focusrite um, ASIO uh, device that I, I is not obviously connected. So we'll just pick that for now. Okay, good. So now we know where that's at. Let's go ahead and close this. Uh, so let's find our Steinberg folder. That's right above it here. And here's our VST plugins. This is where Ableton is looking. So we'll just make a new folder in here. We'll call it Roland. Okay. I picked the wrong one. That's why double checking on all this will be very helpful. Can I rename this? Thank you. Rolling. Okay. There, now we've got this showing our correct folder for 64 bit plugins. And there's is this one here we'll just we'll keep this actually that yeah. let's just actually dump that in the same folder I was trying to go into a VST3 folder but um so we can just process in the same All right, this back pad is a little touchy. And actually, maybe we just have a VST. Just to make sure we can get into it. There we go. Complete the install. And now I believe it's going to launch the manager. If it doesn't, we can, yep, there it goes. So it should automatically launch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select automatically update my instruments this way. Yeah, Roland still seems to be rolling out updates for these uh, plugins. So probably not a bad idea to have that selected. And let's go to my instruments. And this is where you actually do the installation of your plugins. So let's start off with the system one. We'll continue here. And basically it's gonna, I, I think it was do is just downloading the, uh, downloading the plugin, just say yes. And from here, see, you can actually select where you want this to go. Um, that's actually not where we want this. So let's make sure we go to our correct. I wonder if I pick something incorrectly there. So you have to kind of make sure that you're putting stuff in the right folders. That could be part of the issue some folks are having, I'm not sure. Um, but basically, whatever your DAW that you're using, whatever folder you're throwing in all of your VSTs into, that's where you want to go ahead and place these. So we've got that one, let's do the system eight. wanting to put it in the wrong folder so I must have picked the wrong one 
But to change it, see, I know, again, since I know in the directory where this is going, we'll just manually go and find it for these couple. And this, this folder really doesn't matter. I mean, you can put this, you can put these in whatever folder you would prefer. Okay, and then uh, let's just do the D50 real quick because I know I'm gonna need that. Now, probably what happened is I selected the wrong folder um, when it was initially asking me where to put the plugins. I thought I'd pick the correct one, but this trackpad's not giving me the easiest time here. So we'll just, uh, we'll do it manually here. But if you select your correct folder, this should be the same thing that you selected initially. And here we go, bam, and install. Yes. There we go, and we are installed. So I've got a couple plugins installed now. This is gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna fire up Ableton and make sure this works. But basically, um, whatever your DAW is, the first instance of this that you drop it into, it's probably going to prompt you to sign into your account again. But after you do it this time, see here's our here's our plugins. Um, after you do it this this time, you should not have to reauthenticate the app. So uh, any of the plugins actually. So since authentication has not been completed, the audio output periodically becomes distorted and reduces in volume. So we don't have to worry about this because we've got an account that we're going to sign into. And it should authorize us. There we go. And we're authorized. There's our D50. Okay. And that should be it, guys. Uh, let's just actually, let's check real quick. It should not ask us to authenticate again here on, say, for example, the System 8. So it should be good to go. Uh, that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or anything. Uh, please uh, consider to my channel. I do lots of stuff on music and music uh, technology, synthesizers, recording, uh, production, etc. And my own music, of course, uh, which has been playing in the background. Uh, if you like any of this stuff, please uh, check the description below. I'll have links to uh, where you can check out more about me and my music, etc. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Have a good time.